Good morning. In this video, we are going to learn about fiber to fabric. When is your birthday? I am sure your parents buy you a nice dress for your birthday, right? What festival do you celebrate? Diwali? Ramzan? Christmas? Hmm, what do your parents buy for you and your family? A nice cotton shirt maybe? Or a dress? A beautiful velvet frock? Jeans? Or a colorful silk skirt? A sweater for your grandma? Or a nice cotton sari for your mom maybe? Right? Have you noticed the bed sheet or the blankets that you use? Your bath towels? The curtains in your room? The tablecloth or the kitchen towels? You come across so many different types of fabric. It's amazing, isn't it? Take a small piece of cloth and look closely. You will see some loose thread known as yarn. Your fabric is made of yarns that are arranged in a particular pattern. Yarns are made of thin threads. These thin threads are made of even thinner strands. They are called fibers. You must have seen coconut fibers when your mom cooks. Fibers of coconut is called coir. These fibers are used to make strong thick coir rope. We get fibers from cotton, jute plant, coconut, Woolen fiber by shearing sheep, a nice soft silk from silkworm. All these fibers are called natural fibers. We get these fibers from plants and animals. We get fibers from Bactrian camel, Angora rabbit, alpaca and yak as well. In history lessons, you would have seen armor coat worn by kings. Such armors are made by linking small metal rings together. Nowadays, we have synthetic fibers as well. Synthetic fibers are man-made chemical fibers. Rayon, polyester, acrylic, nylon are examples of synthetic fibers. Cotton plants grow in black soil and warm climate. When the plants mature, cotton bowls burst open. Seeds from cotton bowls are separated to get cotton fiber. This process is called ginning of cotton. In India, cotton plants are mainly grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. We get jute fiber from jute plant. In India, jute is mainly cultivated in West Bengal, Assam and Bihar. After harvesting jute plant, the stems are immersed in water. When the stems begin to rot, the jute fibers are separated by hand. Shall we make some cotton yarn with our hands for fun? Now, just take some cotton in your palm. Rub your hands together by moving them forward and backward. Congrats! You just made some yarn. The process of making yarn from fibers is called spinning. Spindle is a simple device used for spinning cotton by hand. We all have seen Gandhiji's charka which is another hand operated spinning device. Today, we have modern spinning machines for large-scale production. Fabrics are made from these yarns by weaving or knitting. Weaving is the process of arranging two sets of yarns together to make a fabric. There are power looms for making fabric from yarn. Knitting machines are available as well. Coconut fiber coir 
is used for making strong robes and even for fashionable necklaces. Have you ever wondered how ancient humans dressed when there was no spindle or loom to make yarn or fabric? They wore leaves and animal skin as dress. They simply draped it on their body. That concludes fiber to fabric lesson. Watch part 2 for practice questions. Thank you.